What's up guys? These are the Govi Immersion TV Backlight Light Strips. I reviewed a couple of Govi products recently, the Glide Lights and also the Govi Flow Plus Lights. Check them out, I've got the links in the description for those. I'm gonna be selling these light strips with the Samsung TV behind me. It's a 55 inch curved TV. Now what this essentially does is, this comes with a little camera that sits on top of your TV that monitors the colors on the screen and it immerses those colors back onto the wall behind the TV to match them from the video to the light strip. I think that's gonna be really cool. One of the reasons why you should definitely check this out is because if you wanted to achieve that same level of lighting effects, then you can get something like the Philips Hue gradient light strips that can do the same thing, but you're also going to need a Hue sync box, the Hue bridges, and altogether you're gonna spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds to do that. Essentially, you can get this much cheaper. Check out the latest pricing information. It's roughly around 70 pounds. They do run some offers and discounts from time to time, so definitely worth checking it out. Let's go ahead and open this up, show you guys how to set it up with a TV, and let's see how it performs. So inside the box, you've got an instruction card with the installation steps. Make sure you read that and follow this. You have your user manual in multiple languages. This is the light strip itself. I will open that in a second. In this one, you have a set of calibration foams and I will show that when I set it up on what these are for. This is the control box and this will allow you to use the light strips without actually having to use the Govi app. So I'll give you a demo of this as well as the app. This is the 1080p smart intelligent camera that will basically pick up the colors on the TV. You can't use this as a webcam or anything else. It's purely for capturing the colors to project them back onto the light strip. You have the power adapter, two packs of mounts for the light strip and some preparation pads to clean the back of your TV to put the light strips on. Now these are the RGB IC light strips. IC basically standing for independent control, which allows the light strips to be multicolored, so you can have the rainbow effects and really get those immersions in those lights. This is attached to a USB-C cable. The USB-C cable is the one that will go into the control box. So on the control box, just to the right hand side, you have a USB-A and a USB-C port. This will be connected into USB-C. The camera will go into USB-A and then the power adapter will come here onto the other side. So you'll have three cables basically connecting to the control box and you should really just place this in a convenient location where you can just press it to turn it on and off next to the TV. So now that I've showcased how to control this using this, let's go ahead and set this up with the TV. So I'm just using one of the alcohol pads to wipe down the back of the TV, make sure it's clean where I'm going to be placing the strips. So now I'm just gonna start peeling off the 3M tape behind the light strips and I'm gonna leave the USB pointed at the right location at the corner of the TV where the control box will go. Okay, so the black one is the GoV light strip. I've got it going around the top and the sides. There is a white light strip that you're seeing just below that. Those are my Philips Hue light strips, but they're only single color. So I can only just turn that on and enjoy a single backlight to the TV. But the black ones here, the GoV ones, running across the entire height and width of the TV, these are really going to immerse me into whatever I'm watching. So now that this is on, the next step is to connect the camera to the top of the TV. Next, I'll just take off the 3M sticker at the bottom of the camera and make sure I position this right on the center of the TV. There we go, that's right in the center. Now I'm just gonna connect the control box with the camera USB and the light strip USB-C and place this down onto the TV stand. So now that everything is connected, I can just use this as a standalone light strip in the back. The control box is on and all I have to do is hit the first button, which is to power it on. You can see it's lit up red. I can change the colors by hitting the second button and this will cycle through all of the different colors, like so. But these are the single colors. The third button goes into music mode and that essentially picks up the audio that is picked up by the actual light strip and the control box and it will reflect the audio back with the lights onto the wall. So if I press this,
is currently off but you'll notice it only lights up when it hears my voice that is really cool so if you wanted the lights to change colors change effects change scenes in terms of what it's hearing in the background whether that's coming from the tv or from the environment in the room then you can also do that to get the full capabilities of this and to start using the camera as well you need to set it up do some calibration and use the govi home app so let's take a look at that now before you go to calibrating the camera you need to connect this to the govi home app so you open up the app and i've got a couple of them already connected with my previous lights on the top right hand corner you just hit the plus icon search for the code that's listed on the box and in this case it's h6199 there we go it's found it it will connect to it this is where you'll give it a name go vtv it's now going on to the check-in camera stage there we go and now you're ready for calibration so you guys remember i showed you earlier the orange calibration foam pads which are these ones you just have to put them into the right points as instructed on the app as well and then go ahead and continue the installation from there now don't put these foams on with a lot of force because you are going to require to take them off and you don't want to damage the screen with the stickiness of the foam pads so just put it on very lightly and then you're ready to continue with the calibration so go ahead and hit the ready button on the app Once you hit submit, the calibration is successful. There you go. And now the app and the camera and everything is all connected to the TV. So you can see there's a few things that you can do with the light strip from the app itself. So you have a few modes down here. You have music, video, color, scene, and DIY. So they're pretty straightforward. Music is what I was showing you earlier. If I tap on that, it bounces to your voice. And you can also select underneath that music sync from the device mic of your phone or from the light strip and you have few other options if you do either of these. I've covered more extensive introductions into the application in my previous video, so if you want to look at that, do check out the link below and go through some of those. In terms of video, this is specific to this Govi Immersion light strip. So you can see you can do part or all of the video if you wanted to get the color to automatically match according to what video is displayed on the screen. And then you also have two modes within that, game and movie mode. Color mode, if you wanted to do multiple different colors on the light strip itself, there's lots of different segments here that you can select and also go in and change the color for. Scene is probably one of the most popular ones. This is where you can you know, really get a good ambience mood effect to whatever situation you're in. You know, if you're at nighttime watching a movie whilst you're having your dinner, maybe if you select this candlelight one, it will give a nice warm glow, like a fiery glow in the background. Or if you wanted to just get the full real capabilities of the light strip to show people then rainbow is a really cool effect as well so there's plenty of options there diy if you wanted to maybe do something of your own then you can also set up your own custom light effects you can also change the brightness you can set it on timers if you go into your effects lab you can find certain categories to see the right color that you want to display in the background and that could be related to you know certain foods animals flowers sports plants whatever it may be there's a whole bunch of different cool effects so that's everything I wanted to show. The setup was very easy, very straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and take off these orange foam calibration pads and I'm gonna give you guys a demo of how this performs in complete darkness. So for this demo, I'm just using a Philips Hue Lightwaves demo video, which will basically give you the best showcase of colors being reflected to match the videos in the background. So sit back and enjoy. Didn't think I'd make it without you by my side Let me feel your love again Just the two of us and we could stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright
So hopefully you guys enjoyed that demo. I'm pretty impressed with how good this works with just a little camera on top. The camera is obviously clear enough to pick out all of the colors to immerse them onto the walls behind the TV. Now one thing I would say is that this does require a camera to be put on top of a TV if that's something that you guys wouldn't like to have in terms of like just visually how it looks then this might not be the right product for you but for me it's not even that noticeable especially if you're really into a movie or a TV show you're going to be so engaged into the immersive light experience that you might not even end up noticing the camera there especially when it's quite dark in the room so for me I am a huge fan that this is a really great way to basically immerse yourself with any TV model. I reviewed a Philips Ambilight TV which has inbuilt lights on the background that match the TV's video screen and that works even better because it's made specifically for the purpose of matching what's on the screen to how the light is reflected to the wall behind it. But this does an almost as good as a job, not quite right there but it does a great job especially for this price range. Now the other thing I really like about this is once you do set it up with the app it's automatically connected to your Amazon Alexa app so I can just use voice commands to turn this on and off and there's multiple different commands that you can say as well. So I've turned it off at the moment now if I go ahead I don't even need to control it with the app at the moment so I can go ahead and say Alexa turn on the Govee TV light. How quick and easy was that? It's just straight up and running to the last setting that I had it on. So that's it guys, if there's any other questions, drop them down below. If you have any other feedbacks, I'd like to hear from you. Check out the link in the description. Check out these light strips and all of the other lights that these guys do. You can also get the Govee Flow Pro lights, which are essentially a couple of bars that you can mount to the back of your TV, to the size of your desk monitors, wherever it may be. And that also has a camera that does the same thing. I'll also leave a link in the description if you wanted to check that one out. If you like these lights and you like this review, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I've got really cool videos like this coming out in the near future and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.